Ben Shapiro challenged Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez to a debate and offered a donation of $10,000 to her campaign. This was a brilliant move on his part because he knows that the 10K she would earn wouldn't help her outcome uh, overcome the crushing defeat she would face in a debate against him. And her refusal to debate would make uh, her look like a coward who could not back up or defend her insane proposals. Yeah. Even better than simply uh, refusing the offer, Alexandria... Alexandria's excuse made her look even more like a mental midget. She tweeted saying, just like catcalling, I don't owe a response to unsolicited requests from men with bad intentions. And also like catcalling, for some reason, they feel entitled to one. Uh, she meant a response. So how she thinks that catcalling is in any way comparable to a debate is ridiculous. First, when you're a politician, you're required to debate. It's, it's, it's a, that's a part of your job. Second, in what debate do the opposing parties ever have good intentions? Both sides want the other one to lose. So the requirement to have a debate with someone is requiring them to have good intentions is ridiculous as well. Basically, she's only willing to debate with someone if she asks for it. They can't ask her. That's a ridiculous standard to set for it's yourself or anyone. Um, also, in what way does Ben asking uh, to pay her for debate mean he is entitled? He did not say you must or you owe me a debate. And how rich is it for Miss I want free housing, free Medicare and free college to call anyone else entitled? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> it's ridiculous that she made this comparison. I mean, first, he's offering him $10,000. Second, he's offering to debate her, which would give her coverage to an audience that she would probably never even see you know i mean she would yes. never see otherwise you know um ridiculous that she that she would say <laughs> that she would pull the <laughs> sexism um debate is rape card out on her on on ben shapiro you know debate is rape <laughs> yeah this is an example of using emotionalism right uh she drops some keywords that are already are emotionally charged for her side you know bring up cat calling and entitlement right those are uh emotionally charged words in in the political sphere right and she's trying to uh put that negative emotion which is how people on the on the far left reason they're not actually using logical arguments they they reason whether something's good or bad based on how they feel about it that's why it matters um and that she's trying to put the, those emotions onto um his claim or his his request and to somehow make his request seem e evil or wrong when it's a request to debate someone there is nothing wrong with that at all no doesn't matter who it is especially when they when they they you know, they're publicly out there saying we should follow these ideals and we should do this and we should do that. Like, yeah, OK, yeah. we'll defend your ideas. Somebody's yeah, challenging. even more, even more so when being a politician, debating is your job. Your job is to convince people of your arguments that they're the right ones. <laughs> and the idea that you'd say, well, just because he asked me to debate, well, that's makes it wrong because <laughs> it was unsolicited. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and he, and, he, and he had bad intentions. You know, makes right, right. make it sound nefarious, like he was gonna fucking sexually harass her or something. You know, yeah. Is it, the only bad intentions, if there were bad intentions, was to to show that she, for one, knows nothing of what she's talking about, and two, her ideals, her her whole ideology sucks. <laughs> I, I think she the, realizes. I think she realizes that it's better to be thought a fool rather than to open your mouth and prove it. And she knows she's a fool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've well, never yeah, heard I, that one. That's good. Not only does she know she's a fool, but I think that the other people in the democratic party have realized, Hey, maybe we, uh, uh, unleashed her too soon because <laughs> she's, because she's, she's, yes, she's young. Yes. She's, uh, uh, Somewhat charismatic, I guess, to the right crowd. You mean crazy eyes? <laughs> well, I mean, that's you know, that's some... charisma on the left. <laughs> love the crazy eyes. They love the crazy looks, man. But the she thing looks is, intense. But what she's become, <laughs> what she has become in the couple of weeks since she's become this, uh, uh, you know, the next new thing is she's become the Sarah Palin of the left. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? She wasn't ready to be unveiled. She needed a couple more adjustments. That that banana needed to ripen a little more. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that she's just constipated all the time. <laughs> that could be the case. Yeah. <laughs> she has the same look on her face that, that horse did in Animal House when they fired the gun in the air. Oh. You know, the- <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I need a beer. I need a beer for that one. <laughs> 